now let's see case test in action so uh, let's let just uh, let's just go through this code okay i'm importing your numpy cborn uh, scipy stats package and the plotting package matplotlib and i'm generating x i'm generating 1000 samples okay using stats.norm.random variables what i'm generating here is i'm generating an array of size 1000 and all these values are Gaussian distributed because I'm using norm here, which stands for normal. Okay, so I'm generating 1000 points. So X is basically normal 0 comma 1 and I'm generating 1000 such points. Now let's go and see what is the distribution look like. Okay, there's a simple code right here which says, okay, set up your uh, C bonds uh, grid style as white and then do a KDE plot. We know what KDE plot is, kernel density estimation plot, which plots the uh, which which plots your PDF using kernel density estimation, right? So I'm just taking my numpy array x and I'm saying do the kernel is, uh, to do the PDF of that. Now the PDF I get is like this. Okay, this looks exactly like a Gaussian distribution. It has a mean of zero, right, and a variance of about one, right? So uh, this is your perfect plot. Now if I want to use KS test, my conglomerate spin-off test, to determine whether my my values in x i have i have i have thousand values in x right whether these values follow gaussian distribution or not how do i do it it's just literally one line of code okay in in the statistics package in scipy statistics package i have a function called ks test i just have to give my variable x and i'm saying that compare it with normal distribution here i'm saying compare it with normal distribution of course i can give an, any other any other uh, distribution here Okay, as soon as I run this, I get two values. I get my D value my, or my statistic and I get my P value. If you notice, my P value here is quite high. And hence, my random variable X is distributed normally. Okay, this is important. Since my P value is very high, I basically say that my random variable X is normally distributed. Now comes the interesting part. Now let's, since we've seen a positive case, let's also see a negative case. Imagine if I have a, random variable y which is continuously distributed which is uniform distributed 0 1 okay so i'm generating let's say 10000 samples of that i'm generating 10000 samples of uh, from this random variable y and i'm storing all of this in small y now if you see the kernel density estimation plot for this of course most of the values lie between 0 and 1 so you look at this it's it's like a uniform distribution this is far from gaussian distribution right now this this is the of course because of kernel density estimation i get some values even below this but otherwise most of my value should lie between 0 and 1 okay this is mostly an estimation problem the actual value for the actual distribution will look like this between 0 and 1 my theoretical distribution should look like this right for for a uniform distribution and uh, yeah and this this value will be 1.0 okay now, now if you see this, if you if you see the if you see the probability density function like this, now let's let now let's do KS test on the random variable y. So we are doing a KS test again between y and a normal distribution, and quickly you'll realize that the p value is zero, which means your y is not normally distributed. Okay, since the p value is very very small, we have very high confidence that your random variable y is not Gaussian distributed. So Test, performing KS test is very, very straightforward. It's literally in this package, in the package of SciPy stats, right? So from SciPy, we imported stats. And in this package, there is literally one small function called, called stats.ks test. Now, uh, let, let, let's go and check out some of the contents on stats, KS test, SciPy. Okay, it's always good to see the function reference. Okay, so it basically says that it, it computes so the good part is it computes a common spin-off test of goodness of fit and you give the you give the values that, that you want and the CDF, right? Here, there are two ways of giving the CDF. You can actually give, so you can actually give a string which says what distribution it is or you can calculate the CDF and give it as a callable function, okay? Having said that, now um, um, it returns you two values. It returns you the case test statistic, which is your value D and the P value, okay? So for every function that I'm telling you, please, that, that I introduce you, right? For every function that I introduce in my code, I strongly recommend you go and check out its documentation 
you, you just need to Google it and then you get extensive documentation of what it does.